I think Billy's got another girlfriend. Is this your girlfriend? Hello, lovely. My chest hurts. Oh my gosh, Lucy's bigger than her. Our telehandler's gonna go get serviced here for a couple days, so we're doing some odd jobs with it while we still have it. And the one thing I wanna do before we go into our next deep freeze is wean these bottle lambs to get this guy in the warm heated shop. It was uh, kind of a nightmare this past weekend dealing with it, and I was stressed out every night when I went to bed just wondering if it was gonna freeze. So these guys are old enough, they're on feed, they're on hay, they're on water, and they're doing really well. So we're just gonna wean them. They're sitting in at about 30, Five, 37 days of age and I usually aim for 40 so between 35 and 40 so they're good to go I think now which is the perfect timing. Mm, you need to get the drill for the hose. You don't need this on anymore right? No. Hey, the nanny has retired and uh, we've got four decent sized pails. There's only 12 lambs, so that's lots of water to keep them going. Um, they also got their second vaccination or uh, antitoxin, so I gave one to them on Christmas Day, December 25th, according to my records. So we're just nicely over three weeks. It's got three weeks of protection. So this should get them through this whole transition and uh, and right up to weaning. So they should be good. And they're heavy. Doesn't even turn over. What am I doing? Oh. Oh, just put. Why don't you go backwards? So it's been a couple hours since we weaned these guys. They're quiet, which is good, and there's water out of these pails, which is also a good sign. And uh, there was no allergic reaction, so that was twice these guys have been vaccinated with no reaction. I'm just super paranoid because the last group that I had, I had two lambs that took re allergic reactions. Oh, Billy, up again. There was no breeding yesterday, but uh, today I've noticed a few going again, so. 
Um, I did notice in my comments, someone was asking if the ones that I added to the breeding groups, like those red ones that uh, were open and I just, I just put them in, um, if they, because I didn't cedar them and I didn't give them PMSG, if they miss again, will I give them another chance? I probably will because it's kind of a bonus. It's not costing me anything really, well feed and time to put them in this group. I was too late to cedar them basically. So it's just bonus if they get, if they catch great, but I'm not necessarily expecting them to, if you know what I mean. So uh, they'll definitely get another chance. I just, uh, I read that and I was like, oh, I was gonna put that in the video and I, I just forgot to mention it, so. Great question, and uh, yeah, they get to stay. I think Billy's got another girlfriend. Wow. Think you've been fighting again, eh? Hmm, what's that? You've been fighting. You know what the other guy looks like? Is this your girlfriend? <laughs> Is this your girlfriend? Hello, lovely. That's my little mama. Is my mama good? Oh, she's so good. Hmm. Hi, Kinky. How are you? You're so cute. Jealousy. Hey Cinnamon, you're just jealous. I love you both. Morning guys, it is uh, Wednesday. Mark is actually helping me this morning because the Bobcat's getting serviced. So he, it, we're using the fence and he doesn't trust me with the, uh, the large bales. I have kind of destroyed our telehandler once or twice with bales falling on it. Anyway, we are using the fence to feed today. So I'm gonna be filling the mixer. Chris is going to be emptying the mixer and we're just gonna tag team it today. And we're gonna do that tomorrow as well. I think we're supposed to get the, the telehandler back tomorrow, I'm hoping. Well, the day has kind of slipped by pretty quick. My sister has been here doing books. Uh, we're heading into the last two months of our, of our financial year. And I just like sitting down with her. I'm in my laneway, so that's why my seatbelt is not on yet. Um, we like to sit down. I like to sit down with her and just talk all things, not really strategy, but talking to someone that's not really involved in what I do just to get her perspective. And it's always just a nice day to, to catch up with her on the business side. But I have 18 uh, market lambs here that I need to get on the trailer. So the trailer's all hooked up. We're in for a flash freeze uh, this evening and we're looking, by the time I get these loaded, it's gonna be about three 
hopefully three in the afternoon. So I should be there and back by, uh, by the time this flash freeze is supposed to happen and the wind's picked up, which is never really good. I don't like ice and wind with an empty trailer. <laughs> really good to be home. <laughs> Brutal west wind hitting, hitting us today and the roads are pretty uh, wide open, big wide open fields and it was blowing over uh, just enough snow that it was making the roads really icy, like pure ice. And this trailer, once wind hits it, it's gone. My chest hurts. I'm a very comfortable driver but I've had a trailer I've had trailer issues in the past so I'm like overly cautious now tonight was just scary and uh, it just goes to show you we we sometimes the weather can be so different here even even an, on a half an hour drive hi how's your water situation <laughs> are you drinking anymore huh oh you guys are doing good hey you're so cute. Yeah. Hello, my sweetie. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> I wanted to check on my weaned lambs. They're doing they're doing good, I think. Carissa told me this morning, she's like, I'm keeping an eye on that you that had the preg tox because she's down again and she's not doing well. And uh, I came in tonight and uh, yeah, she is, she is gone. So um, those bottle babies, we actually made the conscious decision to wean them as well last night because they're on feed and water. But when I uh, had to take mom out of the pen, um, they were flanking me like crazy, like they wanted a bottle. So I may open another bag of uh, milk replacer here and just feed them again for the next week or so. Uh, they are a bit younger than these bottle babies. They're a good uh, week and a half younger, so uh, they can maybe just use some more milk, especially going into this cold weather. I just don't want to see them go backwards. Thought I would go over uh, a few of your comments or questions. I am kind of looking for questions just to see uh, to see what you guys are wondering. So this one's from Denise. Uh, Carissa is such a hard worker. Not sure if you've ever mentioned her background and what her future plans are, but I'd love to know. She just takes care of business and is really great at what she does. Carissa, I worked with Carissa's mom actually uh, when I worked for my in-laws at the chicken barns and we worked together for like 13 years. So I knew Carissa when she was inside mommy's tummy. Um, so I've known her kind of all her life, uh, but uh, when I left the chicken barns and came to do sheep, they actually moved north, um, like an hour and a half north, and eventually Carissa got my number off her mom's phone, didn't even tell her mom anything about it, and just texted me and said, if you ever want, if you need anybody ever for a helping hand, I would love to do it. And I'm like, really? But yeah, that's, that's how she kind of came to be. 
and uh, she worked weekends while she was in high school. Since high school's done, um, she just wants to work for now. I'm not really sure if she's planning on college, so she's working for me part-time, and then she's also working for a neighbor dairy farm part-time. So she's a hard worker and very fun to have around. Okay, this one's from Judy McCarrow. We have had we have had sheep in years past, but only one ram. I may be totally ignorant, but if one ram breeds a ewe and then another ram breeds with the same ewe, does does that up the likelihood of them being pregnant with two or more lambs from different fathers? Again, this may be a very stupid question, but I'm wondering if it is possible. I know that some animals are in heat after they mate, their scent goes away, but with the rams, it seems like they will meet, mate with anyone that happens to walk by. Just extremely curious. Um, yeah, actually n not with my rams. Typically, if like the last few days, well, yesterday is a bit of an exception. Um, there hasn't been any activity at all. Like if those ewes do not give off the pheromones or the scent, like you said, uh, the rams are not interested at all. You can have them in the same pen and they don't do anything. Can a ewe have two lambs from two different dads? I believe they can. I could be wrong with that. Okay, this one is from Lizitz, Lizitty626. I've asked this before, but hoping for an answer for curious sake. When lambing, how long does it take for the new mum ewe lambs to get used to you and be less skittish? The mature ewes, while skittish, they are happy to follow you and deal with you being in the being in the bonding pens more mellowly. Uh, I would say, I would say some of them. It's the second lambing. Some of them, they're they're actually really quite good. Others it comes with time. Like some of these ewes can lamb twice in one given calendar year. So easily by the third they're usually quieter and then some are never quiet it's really just it's kind of just in their bones what what makes them who they are some are just a little more skittish around me than than other ones it definitely helps um you know the first one's lambing versus the last one's lambing and group like they see me in there and they get a little more comfortable with me in there um and i think it also has a lot to do with their hormones like if they're if their hormones are super just tromping they don't care who is in there all they see is their lamb and they just seem to really be really bonded really well so i don't know necessarily if they're skittish for me or they just have that real super powerful hormonal bond with their baby i'm not really sure but uh i don't know i think they get a little more comfortable after after probably two lambings for sure. So there was, someone commented this uh, right at the beginning and I can't find the question so I, I apologize that I don't see a name. Uh, someone said like why, why am I being so coy when it comes to the breeding session um, and that's, it's not, I'm not trying to play it down. I'm actually trying to, I can't talk about it because YouTube will strike my video so uh, I'm not doing it to be overly funny. I'm trying to actually say it in a way that YouTube's not gonna flag the video, which they ended up doing anyway. So it doesn't seem to matter how I do these breeding videos, YouTube doesn't like them. Let me get something out for supper. Is that? <laughs> um, what do you want for supper? Let's go do pizza. Pizza? Are you making it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you want me to get something ready? Hi. Red wine. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, okay. You, you look after the drinks. I'll look after the food. Okay. So the one uh, good thing about editing is I see sometimes the error of my ways. And I'm thinking my little lamb. I got my little lamb in here with the broken leg. And today it's been seven days since I changed her cast. And when I was editing this morning, I'm like, ah, I think I should have casted it higher. And then, of course, I read the comments and some nicer than others suggested that that uh, they they agreed. And maybe I should make that cast above, just above the joint. So above and below the joint. Yeah. And there's other people that had commented saying, um, you know, why haven't you called the vet? The vet is actually who taught me how to do this. So this will be my... You got into the cobwebs. Now people are going to know how dirty my room is. Um, yeah, I've done this. I've done this cast probably, I don't even know how many videos I've done with this cast. So I do at least one a year. So they have worked in the past, most of them. I've even I've even fixed a real high break on the back. So um, yeah, I did take one to the vet last year that I couldn't fix and she couldn't fix it either. So uh, yeah, so my vets are well aware on how I fix these legs, uh, but I do agree. I think it needs to be a bit higher. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll let you guys see how it looks. All right. We got her all casted up. We got a black cast. So you match. No one will even know you're any different. <laughs> so I did, uh, I've got a longer, probably about three I probably have, uh, so this is the one, which is the one she had on her already. This is the one she had on her already. So I've got it probably double the size, probably up to there now. And I think it's going to do a better job of just immobilizing that joint. Um, and hopefully we can get it healed. I'm going to leave this on for at least two weeks this time um, and see what it looks like. But... I'm happier with that. I'm going to sleep better knowing that that's, that joint isn't rocking and rolling. You are so cute. I really want to make you better. Even though you are the smallest one. Are you even as big as Lucy? Oh my gosh, Lucy's bigger than her. Unbelievable. Is that your friend? Are you going to make a new friend, Lucy? What do you think? I think it's pretty sweet. You pretty sweet? Are you scared? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Are you sassy? <coughs> Here's mom. <coughs> yeah, she can hear you. <coughs> okay, gentle, 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 gentle. <coughs> <coughs> 